In the previous section, we simplified the multiplication picture by breaking up one of the numbers into expanded form. In this section, we will break both numbers into expanded form. The basic idea remains the same, but becomes a little more complicated symbolically. Consider the product 36 times 25. If we break 36 into 30 plus 6 and 25 into 20 plus 5 and look at the picture, we can see that we've broken the picture into four pieces. We can visually recognize the side lengths of each of these pieces based on the original picture. From here, we can compute the number of boxes in each grid. 30 times 20 is 600. 30 times 5 is 150. 6 times 20 is 120. And 6 times 5 is 30. The total number of boxes in the entire picture is the sum of the number of boxes in each part. We will now write out what this calculation looks like symbolically. 36 times 25 is equal to 30 plus 6 times 20 plus 5. This is equal to 30 times 20 plus 30 times 5 plus 6 times 20 plus 6 times 5. This step is calculating the number of grids in each of the four pieces. 30 times 20 is 600. 30 times 5 is 150. 6 times 20 is 120. And 6 times 5 is 30. And now we add them up. 600 plus 150 is 750. 750 plus 120 is 870. 870 plus 30 is 900. When working algebraically, it is important to remain organized and avoid errors. To facilitate this, there is an acronym that we use known as FOIL. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last, and it helps us to make sure that we get the right combinations of products. First means the first of each pair. Outer means the outermost two values. Inner means the inner two values. And last means the last of each pair. We will work through a few more examples of this to reinforce the idea. Example, compute 10 plus 2 times 50 plus 3 using FOIL. 10 plus 2 times 50 plus 3. First means the first in each pair, 10 times 50, plus the outer, which is the outermost two values, 10 times 3, plus inner, which is the inner two values, 2 times 50, plus last, which is the last of each pair, 2 times 3, equals 10 times 50 is 500, plus 10 times 3 is 30, plus 2 times 50 is 100, plus 2 times 3 is 6. 500 plus 30 is 530, plus 100 is 630, plus 6 is 636. If you are not comfortable adding together numbers inside your head like this, you can always use scratch paper. Example, compute 29 times 72. 29 times 72 is equal to. This time, you will need to write out the numbers in expanded form on your own. 20 plus 9 times 70 plus 2. And now we apply FOIL. First is 20 times 70 plus outer is 20 times 2 plus inner is 9 times 70 plus last is 9 times 2. 20 times 70 is 1,400 plus 20 times 2 is 40 plus 9 times 70 is 630 plus 9 times 2 is 18. 1,400 plus 40 is 1,440 plus 630 is 2,070 plus 18 more is 2,088. The pattern of FOIL can be extended to products where there are more than two terms. When we do FOIL, first, outer, inner, last, what we do is we start with the first number in the first parentheses and cycle through all the numbers in the second parentheses. Then we go to the second number in the first parentheses and cycle through all the number in the second parentheses. This basic pattern can be extended to products where you have more than two terms inside the parentheses. 
Just remember that each term in the first parentheses must be multiplied by each term in the second parentheses. Example, compute 196 times 32. 196 times 32 equals, we need to write this out in expanded form. 100 plus 90 plus 6 times 30 plus 2. Remember that we need to have each term in the first parentheses multiply with each term in the second parentheses. So we'll start with the 100 in the first parentheses. 100 times 30 plus 100 times 2. Now we will go to the second term in the first parentheses. Plus 90 times 30 plus 90 times 2. And now we'll go to the last term in the first parentheses plus 6 times 30, plus 6 times 2. Now we're going to multiply these out. 100 times 30 is 3,000, plus 100 times 2 is 200, plus 90 times 30 is 2,700, plus 90 times 2 is 180, plus 6 times 30 is 180, plus 6 times 2 is 12. And now we add it up. 3,000 plus 200 is 3,200. 3,200 plus 2,700 is 5,900. 5,900 plus 180 is 6080. Plus another 180 is 6260. Plus 12 more is 6272. 6272. Students sometimes feel intimidated when we do calculations like this mentally and that quickly. One of the reasons I'm able to add values as quickly as I do is because I've practiced a lot. I've done lots of these calculations. I did lots of them when I was writing the textbook. And so with time and practice, you just get faster. We don't really expect that students will be able to do it quite this fast. But the goal is for students to become more and more confident, and that confidence is reflected by increased speeds. In future sections, we will roll some of these steps together to save some time in writing. But for this section, write out all the products first before computing them. The purpose of doing this is to reinforce the mechanics of the calculation and to prepare you for when we do this calculation with negative signs.